With the New York State Legislature currently in an extraordinary session, activists are wasting no time calling for their preferred legislation to be considered. Advocates with Vocal New York gathered outside the governor's mansion asking that she sign an executive order to authorize overdose prevention centers throughout New York. News Channel 34's Amal Taliji has the details. Because, like it's been said, every overdose is preventable. Every single overdose. According to Vocal New York, an overdose happens every 90 minutes. As of right now, there are two overdose prevention sites, both based in the city. These are also known as safe consumption sites. These medically supervised facilities would provide access to clean supplies to prevent HIV, hepatitis C, or skin infections. There would also be staff nearby who can administer life-saving drugs like Narcan in the case of an overdose. Those battling addiction would be able to use drugs without fear of being arrested. It's a resource, it's a health care facility it, to serve buprenorphine when ready, to provide, you know, get people the resources to get the treatment when they're ready, to get housing services, mental health, trauma-based, anything you would think of. The primary goal is to prevent overdose deaths and remove the stigma around drug addiction. The centers would also be able to test for fentanyl in drugs. If I were not able to test my heroin for fentanyl last summer when I had first recurrence in eight years, I wouldn't be here right now. If I didn't understand ways that I could keep myself safe, due to harm reduction, I would not be here right now. Advocates cite some form of trauma being the initial cause of drug use. They hope the governor signs an executive order to implement these centers all across New York. Reporting at the Capitol, Amel Taliji.